So for those of you who don't know, my name is Dan Warren. I am a senior BIM manager at CPL. And today's tip, we're going to talk about Bridge. And Bridge is like one of my favorite tools that's been added to the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So um, Bridge allows us to break the longstanding rule of Autodesk Construction Cloud projects don't talk to each other, or BIM 360 projects don't talk to each other. Um, so it's a really neat mechanism that allows us to share data in all kinds of different ways. So uh, first, if you've never used it, the, the, the key trick is you have to be in both projects and have write capacity. So in the environment you're looking at right now, on the left, this would be like the design teams hub where the design team is working. And on the right would be the general contractor hub or maybe a pricing uh, consultant or even the owner possibly, right? So the first thing we wanna do is I wanna show you how to set up a bridge. It's actually really easy. So over here on the left, I'm going to the architectural hub and I'm gonna send over my recap project. And this is a full recap project that I have set up. Um, I'm gonna send this full recap project over to the GC. Um, and the way you do that is you just come down here and you pick this folder and we're gonna go share. And because I've been added to both projects, I have access to both projects I can share directly from one project to another. I go to another project. And this is where I can choose to automatically synchronize updates to the target. So if this is a continual working folder, let's say you're sharing like progress sets with the general contractor, every time you upload new PDFs to this folder, those PDFs will be bridged over to the other project team. I don't wanna do this, this is just gonna be a one-time transfer. Um, you know, we'll call this the, you know, point cloud. Send. Um, and we're going to push this over to the sandbox you see on the right. So I come over here and I'm going to push this to my sandbox. And down now, because I'm in both projects, I can go into the sandbox and the folders you see on the left are going to match the folders you see on the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump this recap project right here in the master. And you can see that I'm pushing this recap file or this recap project. And what that's going to do is over here briefly, it, it will, uh, you'll see the recap folder appear and then you should see all of the folders within it appear. But I actually think I forgot to select the uh, subfolders. So let me show you that again. It goes, it goes pretty quick as you saw. I'm gonna share this again. And I'm gonna do that to the correct folders this time. So um, what I really like about this process is it's hyper fast. Um, what I want you to, like when you send things over, you need to make sure you include all of the subfolders and this will capture the entire folder structure. Um, a quick thing to note is you'll see when I push this over, this is gonna flatten the folder structure out. It's not that big a deal. You can go ahead and move these folders around on the receiving side. And it works perfectly fine, especially if you like, if the entire design team pushes everything over and you get a bunch of design folders on your receiving end, you can move those around. The bridge doesn't break, the links update automatically. So I can see there's my second recap that I just sent over. And then there's the actual recap file. And then there's my actual RCP project. And in the time it took me to stall, that over gigabyte file has pushed from one project to another. So it's a great way to share like large volumes of data across ACC. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is this can be integrated with other processes on the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So who, over here on the general contractor side, I've already set up a design packages folder that has all of my different design teams. And if I jump over to the design collaboration module, what I can do is I can set up a new package. So I'm going to use the um, create a new package and I'm gonna just send over, let's say I just wanna send over just the model, right? I don't wanna send over documents and I don't wanna send over the sets. I just wanna send over the model. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this package together and we're gonna give it a name, structural four, do, 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 do. that works. Oh, I forgot to publish. I apologize. I forgot to publish my model. All right, so I'm not gonna make you watch me go through that. Um, but generally what, what I would do is if I'm in controlled work sharing ecosystem, what I'll do is I will um, publish my model and I will, and that creates a package 
That package will then go to my other design team members and it sends a copy of the package to the general contractor. So if your general contractor is working on a pricing set, then they get updated files every single time the design team exchanges. So it's one way that you can sort of streamline the sharing of files across the project team. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the beauty of Bridge is it's super fast to set up and you can integrate it with other workflows. Well, so that with that, awesome. I'm going to hand it back to you, Dana. Thank you so much, Dan. I really appreciate that tip on Bridge.